for you. We search for you. In a dry and barren land, we long for your hand to guide us to a place where you
we become the children of Abraham and also enjoy the blessings that he's promised Israel. Amen. Right. Praise God. Yes, sir. He said in Isaiah 43 and 1, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. All right. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Amen. And then he said, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. You, through the river, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle up Thank on you. Thank you. And he said, For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee, therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not. Again, look what he says. Fear not. I am with thee. Thank God. For I am with thee. Praise God. I, I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. Now, although it is talking about the restoration of Israel at this particular time in these passages of Scripture, which, which, if any of you studies prophecy, if any of you studies the Word of God and, and, and begins to understand that these scriptures are being fulfilled even now Amen. Right? because it started Amen. Uh, really being fulfilled back in 1945 when Israel became a nation. Uh, many of the Jews have been scattered abroad. A lot of them had been had been killed and martyred and, 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 and mass mass murders, right. put in gas chambers and all of that during the Holocaust. But now, and they were scattered throughout all, any place they lived. And when, when Israel became a nation again, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I can imagine many of them said, Lord, you, you've forsaken us. Right. You forgot all about us, but he had you. Israel was made a nation again, and they began to make their way back to the homeland. Amen. Why did they do that? Because the Spirit of God was right. drawing them back to where yes. they belonged. That's right. And so, so that, that's what he's talking about when he says, Fear not, I am with you. And I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. And then we can take heart in this. Because we have inherited some of the blessings uh, of Israel and Abraham and the, prom and, and the promises of Abraham. Because of that, we can look at it in a spiritual sense or in, in our time now and in, 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 in apply it to us as a Gentile people that those that loved ones we've got out there that may have been scattered you know they may be here and they may be there and, right. and, 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 and around all you know all over this county all over this state all over the United States may be scattered somewhere Amen. but there's a promise in the word of God he said I'm with thee and I'm going to bring yes. your seed from the east and yes. from the west Yes, Praise sir. God. Thank you, Jesus. And gather thee from the west, and I'll say to the north, Give up. To the south, keep not back. Uh -huh. Bring my sons from far, my daughters from the ends of the earth. Yes. Now listen, we can look at this, and, 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 and those of you that, that listen to me long enough know I believe that there is a revival and an end time revival right. coming like heaven right. before. Yes. Just as Israel is gathering back into their homeland for look. To look for the Messiah to come the first time, the church and those right. that may have left the church and all the and may have backslid and they're out there somewhere. The Spirit of God's going to start drawing them back to, yes. to the house of God and to the home where they belong. And there's going to be a great revival in the yes. time that we're living in. So he says, I'll, I'll say the north, give up to the south, keep not back, bring my sons from far. And my daughters from the ends of the earth. Now look at this. Verse 7. Even everyone that is called by my name. I'm glad tonight that I'm, yes. I'm called by my name. I'm glad I'm called by the name Jesus, folks. I'm glad I'm called by that name. Praise God. He said, For I have created him. For my glory, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Mm -hmm. But he said, but the promises was, I'm with you. Right. Yes. I'm with you. Thank you, Jesus. 
I'm with you. Church, he's with us tonight. Yes, he Thank is. You, Lord. He's with us tonight. Yes. Praise God. Then in, in Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9, he said, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, Amen. neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whether soever thou goest. Right. You've got to understand, it don't matter. It don't matter. God is with you. Praise God. Then Hebrews 13 and 5 says this, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. Amen. For he has said, I will never leave thee, right. nor forsake thee. Thank you, Jesus. you know what that tells me? I've got to be content with God's blessings before yes, we give certainly. me more. Yes, right. Right. Hmm? Right. I've got to be thankful for the way God has already blessed me, along with it, for him to bless me more. Right. Amen. He says, be content with what you have. For he has said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That means if, he, if he's still with me, he's going to take care of me. Right. Hmm. But look, I want to go to the book of Job. Most of you know the story of Job, how that Satan went before the Lord and said, you've got to hedge around Job and all this and because God asked him, said, you consider my servant Job. Uh -huh. Amen, yes sir. He said, well Lord, if you'll let me do this to him, he'll curse you. Now Job didn't curse him. But he lost everything that he had. Amen, that's right, every bit. Everything that he owned, he lost his family. But he didn't curse God. Right. He didn't curse God. But, there was a time that Job questioned, you know, Lord, where are you? Where are you? See, sometimes when things go wrong and God is silent, how do we handle it? Right. Preach on. Huh? When things go wrong and God is silent, this is what Job was facing. God had been silent for a while. Job, Job began to say, and he, 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 may, have, he may have felt like maybe at, at a time or two because he was human. Right. That God, have you completely forgot about me? Have you, have you forsaken me? But look, in Job 23 and, and, and 1, then Job answered and said, Even today is my complaint bitter, and my stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, that I knew where I might find him, right. that I might come even to his seat. Mm. He said, I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would know the words which he would answer me. Job had it all figured out, didn't he? Thought he did. He said, boy, I, 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 I'd go to him and, 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 and I'd tell him what was going on and i know the words he'd ask me with. Hmm? Amen. See, we, a lot of times we try to figure it all out before we even ask God uh, to do yeah. something about Amen. it. Right. We try to figure out how God's going to do this. Yeah. Look what Job said. He said, he said, I, I, I would know. I would order my cause before him and fill my mouth with arguments. Look, that's what, what Job said. But he said, I would know the words which he would answer me and understand what he would say unto me. Hmm? Will he plead against me with his great power? No, but he would put strength in me. There the righteous might dispute with him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge. But he said, Behold, I go forward, but he's not there. Backward, and I cannot perceive him. All right. On the left hand, where he does work, but I cannot behold him. And he hides himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. 
But then in verse 10, Job began to make a little bit of sense. He said, but he knoweth the way that I take. Thank you, Jesus. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Huh? Can, can we say that? Come on. Can we say that? Bless Come on. Lord. When we're going through something, Bless God, God, God knows, and He does. He knows the yeah. way you're going to take. Look. He says, My foot has held His steps, His way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of His lips. I have esteemed the words of His mouth more than my necessary food. But he is in one mind, and who can turn him? And what his soul desireth, even that he doeth. For he performeth that thing that is appointed for me. Right. Job accepted it. <clears throat> Job accepted it. What God was doing to him. He said, He performeth that thing which is appointed for me, and many such things. Are with it. But I want to skip over to chapter 38. And God's fixing answering back. Chapter 38, verse 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, who is this that darkness counsels by words without knowledge? <laughs> Look what he's telling Job. Right. Hmm? He said, Who is this that darkness counsels by words without knowledge? In other words, what he was saying, Job, Job, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. Basically. He said, Now, Job, he said, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. Huh? And I, I don't have time to read that whole chapter, but, but, but you ought to go back and look what, what God is telling Job. But we'll, we'll read that first, first ver, uh, fourth verse. He said, Where was thou when right. I laid the foundations of the earth? Yes. Declare thou hast understanding. Bless he, said, he said, where, where was you when I formed the earth? Where was you? And then he goes on to, he, he goes to, to talk about how he created everything. Let's go to, now, let's, let's skip on over to, to chapter 40 of the book of Job. Verse 1 again. Moreover, the Lord answered Job and said, Shall he that contended with the Almighty instruct him? He that reproveth God, let him answer it. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile, and what shall I answer thee? I will lay my hand upon my mouth. I'm just going to be quiet. Right. I'm just going to shut up. Hmm? He said, I'll lay my hand hmm. upon my mouth. Once I have spoken, but I will not answer. Yea, twice, but I will proceed no further. Then answered the Lord unto Job out of the whirlwind and said, Gird up thy loins now like a man. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. He said, Will thou also disannul my judgment? Will thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? Hast thou an arm like God? Or can thou thunder with a voice like him? He began to ask, Job again. He said, can you do these things that I do? Right. Can you do these things that I do? And then go to chapter 42 and verse 1. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou can do everything and that no thought can be withholden from, from thee. We know if God knows what you're thinking tonight. Right. Yes, He does. Hmm? He even knows if you're thinking about the Mexican restaurant while I'm preaching. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
He said, he said, I know that I can do everything and that no thought can be withholden from thee. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not. Job said, I, I understood things, things too wonderful for me, too wonderful for me, which I knew not. And he said, Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee and declare unto thee. I have heard heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eyes see of thee. Yes. Wherefore I I pour myself. Job said, said he just abhors himself. He said, Wherefore I pour myself and repent in dust and ashes. He said, I repent, Lord. He said, You know what happened when you repented? God began to turn things around. All right. Mm -hmm. Huh? He began to get on those those uh friends, so called yes, friends. He said, Job, what you sin? What sin did you do to cause this all to happen to you? What you know, God God told him. God, God began to tell him, said, You go. He said, My anger is kindled, kindled against you and against for you've not spoken the thing that is right as my servant Job had. And then Job began to pray for his friends and God began to turn things around in his life. When we realize that it would seem sometimes when God has left us and it seems like we're in all kinds of trouble and God's not answering us, we've got to still know and believe that yes. He's with us. Right. That's it. That He's with us. Amen. We're just going to have to try to endure the trials That's for right. a while. Amen. Until Amen. He does that. Amen. Praise God. See, 1 Peter 4, 12 and 13 says this. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. He said, don't think it's strange when this happens. Amen. Don't think it's strange when this happens. But then he said, but rejoice. Inasmuch as you're partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when His glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. He said, "Don't think this strange. It's going to happen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, it's going to happen." And then, in closing, John, John's Gospel. Fourteenth chapter, in verse sixteen, he said, "Now pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever." Thank you, Jesus. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him. Look, look what He's saying now: for He dwelleth with you. And shall be in you. Now, now read read these scriptures very carefully and understand right. these scriptures very carefully. He said, uh, He said, I'll pray the Father, He'll give you another comfort that He may abide with you forever. But then He said, Even the Spirit of truth which the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But he said, But you know him. Right. Amen. Yes, sir. You know him. How did they know him? Because he was right there in front of them. Right. He said, you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Thank God. Thank God. He said, I, then he said this, I will not leave you Thank comfortless. You. I will come to you. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How many know tonight that the Holy Ghost yes. is the Spirit of the resurrected Christ? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes, huh? Amen. I said the Holy Ghost is the spirit yes. of the resurrected Christ. Yes, it is. Yes, it he is. went up as the Son of God and he sent back, he came back to them as the Holy Ghost right. in the church. Yes, right. And the Bible says that same spirit which raised Jesus Christ from the dead uh -huh. dwell in you and right. shall also quicken in your Lord. Praise God. Praise yes. yes. God. He said, I'll not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yeah. And, he, and he did just what he told him he was going to do. He sent it back. He sent it back. 
Praise God. Praise God. He is with us. And I want to go back to Psalms 23 and read it once again. And I want you to, I want you to grasp a hold of these words. Matter of fact, I've read it before and I made everybody say with me. Every time it said I and me. Huh? Listen more. Listen, listen, what? The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, he is. I shall not walk. Thank God. He maketh me yes. to lie down in green pastures. Thank you, Jesus. He leadeth me beside still waters. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. He restored my soul. Thank you. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness yes. for his name's sake. Yes. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art yes. with me. Yes, sir. Yes, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort who? Me. me. There prepares the table before me. I like it. I, I like yes. it. Yes. I, I, I got to stop you just right there. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Mm. How many know? Jesus. How many know? It don't matter how much the enemy is coming against me. Ah. And how much he's standing there trying to accuse come me. On there, come on, man. Trying to yeah. trying to get to me to stop praising God and worshiping God. You know what? Come and dine the master call. Uh -huh. Come and yeah. yeah. Jesus yeah. has a place to pray where the saints of God are feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. So he prepares the table. He said, You still eat, son, and gain uh -huh. some strength. Right. Yeah. You still worship and gain some strength. Thank you, That's Jesus. Praise Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies and all, 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 all when God's feeding me. Yes. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost and the blessings of God are all over me. All Satan can do is sit there and look. Yeah. Right. Thank God. That's it. Because I'm eating in His presence. Uh -huh. That's the word. <laughs> In the presence of man, and thou anointest my head right. with all. <laughs> my cup Thank you, Jesus. runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. It goes back to the scriptures in Deuteronomy. Say, if you'll do all these commandments that right. I command you this day, then these blessings shall overtake they me. Shall. Thank God. Shall follow me all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord for Thank ever. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you uh, know what? <clears throat> dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, not, not, not wishy washy. In That's it. Now. That's it. Might, might or might not. Come on with it. Might or might not. Uh -uh. But I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank forever. you, Jesus. Praise Thank God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because He's with me. Yes, Thank he you, he's Jesus. He's with us. Yes, he is. Praise God. Let's all stand. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Be back here Sunday morning. And I think this is youth retreat weekend. It is. Keep that in mind. Praise God. Check the bulletin board and see what's going on. And I think a week from this coming Sunday is our homecoming. And it'll be it'll be worship service at ten o'clock. No Sunday school classes that morning, but we're having worship service and a meal following. All right, amen. Can't beat that. <laughs> Praise God. And George, you want prayer? Let's believe God. Raise your hands and pray.